Alright, so over the past few months, I, well, yeah, to be honest with you, I've been really getting into Vim. I've been using Vim for well over a year now, and, well, primarily NeoVim, and I've spent my configs over 1013 lines I checked for recording. And that's, well, a long config, and I mean, yeah, I've done a lot with Vim throughout the years, and I've been playing around with Lua, and it was time to create my first plugin as I had an idea when I was bored so this video is just going to be kind of like demonstrating and showing you to my plugin this plugin is a very niche use case for someone like me uh, but it's available on github if you really want to take a look at it so yeah let's dive in I guess all right so if you look at my screen now this is basically all Lua code with the plugin and yes um we don't really need to look at the code and we can see the great name it has over here to do me daddy I mean great name obviously shows what it is also hope you enjoy the doge background anyways let's actually dive in on how this whole plugin works and everything so well, i'm just gonna go over here and wow i have this open that was a planned that was a planned that, that was just open anyways we as developers leave a lot of to do comments and of course we can go into here we can grab to do There you go. That was smooth. But anyways, we now have every single instance of Redstone to do. And obviously you can do that. Or you can use something like Build a Telescope and do a little grab over here. And I know you can do that, okay? But here's the thing. If you're working on a project, do you really want to go every single time, space, well, actually turn on screen key. Alright, now there's screen key on, I can show you. Anyways, do you really want to go like this? Do you really want to go every single time, space, PS, and then to do, enter, and then everything here. And also... Let's say you had the word to do a lot. Like, in this project, obviously I'm going to have the word to do a lot. So it's not just going to give me all the comments. So, the whole point of this is this is basically only going to give me the comments or so on. So, if I just press space TD, boop. That's every single instance of the word to do. Now, obviously, um, I don't have it fancy where it shows me, like, this context. And I'm sure I can add that. And that will probably be added at some point. But right now, I can just go like this. I can see, for example, line 11, to do for Yoni, add a search function to the wiki. So show him such Yoni's personal, go wiki, utils, utils dot go. And I can see over here, basically jumps me straight to that, or I can go straight to this comment. You can just basically very easily jump around. But here's the plan. The thing is, is that one, there's no like quick fix list situation right now. If I have all of these, which, well, I clearly do, I can't send them to a quick fix list, and that's, well, a bit of a worry to me, as you obviously want these quick fix lists, so that's an issue. Second of all, as I mentioned before, I want this kind of highlighting on the side, and I'm sure it's possible to implement with Telescope. And, yeah, I, I look, I know this has been done before, and also, someone on Reddit flayed me for the name to do me, Daddy, but, like, it's a great name. Rude. Anyways, um... Yeah, so those are just some of the things I want to implement. So if you want to check this out, you can, of course, go to github.com, full source Johnny Cosa, or and, uh, to do me daddy, beautiful naming. Then you just, you can read the readme, you this, add this to your telescope.lua, event. you can just call it. Only works with telescope right now. Do you have plans for quick fix list, as it's right over here? But that's that for now. I kind of just want to go over my shit code, in case you're interested now. So, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm not very good at Lua. I mean, this is very ugly code, but I'm still just gonna, you know, go through it with you. So, this function over here, os.capture, I copied this off the internet, because of os.execute, executed it, but I don't know, it just return like the, uh, the, the, the PID thing, I always forget how it stands for. This actually returns standard output, so, like, I obviously want that, and then we're doing to find every single file in the dirt we just run this it only works on posit compliant shells and uh, i'm not gonna say it but yeah i should probably actually add that to the readme so i don't think windows is a fine command screw the windows this basically looks for everything basically and it splits it by a new line and as long as it's not in the node modules folder it will just add it to our table that's the thing i'm thinking like if it's a node modules there could be to do comments now i'm trying to think no there should be a way, but you can basically say, like, let, uh, you know, Vim, you can do like this, like, let to do me daddy, 
ignore but you can basically say i want to ignore any folder that starts with source for example and it would ignore any folder that is well source so you know let's just have that to do. read me quick to to, to do <laughs> ignore folders so right now ignores node models i'm pretty sure you'd want that on by default but you never know anyways then this oh ugly function mostly written by copilot uh copilot's good uh literally just gets every single line make sure it's not a directory then from there basically like removes white space gets the line number and stuff like that gets some removes the number from the string this gets the file type it's really ugly i have this thing which i found to hopefully clean us up a bit but right now it's ugh. if file type is lua then if the comment starts with to do or to do like that or the same with every other thing else or file type is not defined why am i using a mouse and vim if the file type is uh not defined or if the file type is like nil so no file type it's typically probably a hashtag thing because it's normally like a file like AWU. So like i3 config for an example. This and most other configs like this will use hashtags for their comments. The more you know. And then otherwise it's probably some sort of file type which I haven't got in here. But it's probably got a slash slash for the comments. It's that's just like the most popular like Rust. And it had Rust hard coded in here. But Rust is a slash slash for the comments. Then over here, this literally just gets the current directory. I mean, this is the main thing that Telescope calls. Telescope basically cleans the file table each time, gets the current, uh, re-gets the file table, and returns the to-do comments in the table. And then we get this. And then I'll show you if you go to telescope.lua to the bottom over here. We have this. Basically, it takes in your to-do, and it basically sends that content to this thing over here. Oh, and someone's at the door. Okay, and where was I for someone really rang the doorbell? I guess here we are. Basically, this function takes in the value of to do. So that would typically return something like line 16, and then whatever the to do comment is. So let's just comment that out. It would typically return, it return like home slash journey slash personal slash aweu slash aewe dot lua. Even though lua would, let's just do types, but still wouldn't have a comment like that. But this is typically, just remove that actually, this is typically what we'd get back from Telescope, yeah? So over here, this gets what the line number is, but this gets the to do without, sorry, this doesn't get the to do, I should really need to name this. This is the home dirt it gets. Over here, no, this still takes the to do. But no, this takes the to do, you know, we should just do it like this. You know what? I, I can't fix this. It's, uh, my code's really bad already. We'll just ignore it for now. You know, it's, this basically just makes it like, so we have slash home, slash only, slash, uh, personal. Yes. But, so you might have that, yeah? Then over here, it was basically jump to that file, editing it. Then this, like, edits it and the line number. So you can, you don't know in Vim, by the way, you can go like colon 100 and it goes straight to line 100. More Vim tips anyways this is basically all of this and i mean it's not too many lines there's also this little youtube one that barely has anything in it so it's not too many lines of code right now and i'm gonna be honest it's not gonna be like a big plugin you're gonna find like you know like telescope or neo vim lsp actually it's kind of a bit of a thing but still it's not gonna be like a big plugin you find but it's a little plugin i wrote for myself and i thought you know what why not put on get up case any of you lovely folks find it useful so that's going to be that. If you have any issues or you'd like to submit any pull requests, which would be very, which I'd be very grateful for, um, the link to the GitHub is in the description below. But that's going to be it. Please ignore the terrible light of my face. And yeah, I'll see you all another time with hopefully some more uh, Vim videos, baby, or other types of videos. Bye.